Welcome back from that short breather. Still watching Joy News Interactive, and it's about the time for us to talk about tech. And we have Kobe Spike and Kruma in the studio with us, and he's going to tell us about ransomware. Hello, Kobe. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. Okay. So, Kobe, what is ransomware? Um, you know, when they kidnap someone, mm -hmm. what the kidnappers used to usually do is that they ask for a ransom. Yeah. Exactly. So, with ransomware, it's sort of like an infection that okay. encrypts all your files on your computer and asks mm. you to pay a ransom so they unlock it for you. Interesting. Wait, how do you even get it Good. on your PC? Now, you the way ransomware works is that it relies on you, the user, to actually take action to get infected. So it's like a human being gets an STI. You can't just get it. I you see. have to actually do something to get it. So. Mm -hmm. People who are susceptible to getting ransomware are those who usually go and look for free software that are otherwise paid for. So let's say you're looking for some free software okay. and then you go and download a free version and install it on your computer because it's quote unquote cracked. Okay. That opens you up to be infected by ransomware because what they do is they infect these files and make it easy for you to infect yourself mm -hmm. because yeah, you want something free, you download it, you want to watch a movie, someone But everybody you, likes free things. Yeah, but if you're supposed to pay for it, why don't you just pay for it? If you go for something that's supposed to be paid for mm -hmm. and it's free, there could be a catch. Either you are the, <laughs> the, the product you are being paid for mm -hmm. or your computer is going to be paid for. <laughs> so what do you do when you're infected? by ransomware? Well, there's two things. Either you pay, which I don't usually encourage because there's a possibility that the hacker or whoever infected you is going to keep asking for more money. So let's say I infected your computer and I encrypted all your files and I tell you pay me $100 in Bitcoin because that's untraceable. So that's what they do. And then I would unlock your files. You pay me the $100, I'm like, nah, pay me again. And okay. you keep paying and paying and paying and I don't unlock it. Can't, can't I just delete the app? <laughs> well, you'd have to wipe everything and you lose everything. Mm, mm, mm. So the best thing is to prevent yourself from being infected. But either way, these applications or softwares mm. are out there. Yeah. How do I protect myself from being getting infected? infected? Well, or infecting my PC with this ransomware? There was one that came some time ago which was called WannaCry. Now this ransomware, what it did was that it was it took advantage of an exploit in Windows and so if you don't update your Windows regularly you get infected and those who don't update their Windows are those who are using the quote-unquote cracked versions of the Windows yeah. and so get an authentic version of Windows always stay updated because the updates protect you when they realize that it's an exploit they patch it and also don't download software that you do not know anything about from unknown sources you just go Google something you see the link you click on it, you download it, you install it. It doesn't sometimes, why not just encrypt all your files at once? It stays in the background, does it slowly. There's another one called Anatova. That's actually very dangerous. Mm. That replicates itself. I can imagine. <laughs> yeah, so it will just encrypt all your files and it does it in a certain way that like when you start your computer, it's doing it in the background mm. and it can spread to another computer and it's dangerous. So just stay away from free stuff that are supposed to be paid for. Or just talk to your IT guy. Hey, I need this software. Have you, do you have it? Maybe they can help you out. Okay. Thank you very much, Kobe Spike and Kuma, telling us about ransomware. Don't download everything that is free <laughs> on the internet. Well, thank you very much, Kobe, once again. Well, that's all for today on Joy News Interactive with me, Selinam Ampo. Join us tomorrow. Bye.